Bad League 10 on the horizon. Draft day tomorrow. Actually, today. Wednesday, 9 4. <clears throat> A little history of Bet League. We started this this league. 16, you know, six teams, six captains. After our foray into nationals at Balm Springs. We didn't do, we didn't fare too well, but we won state, we won sectionals, we went to Palm Springs, had a great time. Good camaraderie, friendship. So they say we're going to separate the teams, right? We come up with this idea, Mark Fair, Bentley, a few of us on the, you know, the board, Ronnie, Kevin, etc. It's like, hey, let's come up with an idea. We're going to, you know, F the USTA, let's get our own league. Let's start our league. Six teams, whatever. Boom. Takes off like a, we got, we got people calling it, you know, following us at Stone Creek. Boom. History of Bent League, that's how it started. You're lucky to be part of it. Pre please appreciate it. <clears throat> the Captain's League. Past Champions League. Bent League 10. We have four captains that have won previous titles. Yours truly, Brad, the mouth of Mandeville, Humphreys, Angry Squirrel, Kevin Fair, and the Cuban Missile Crisis, uh, Mike Mesa. Just a little history there. I am the only captain to go undefeated in Bent League. Bent League won the very first one, 10 and 0 undefeated champions of Bent League. <clears throat> Gave the prize money to a crawfish ball, but that's beside the point. Brad spent all of his money on his glasses and, you know, his cigars or whatever. Gave the money back to Brantley, had a good party at Nick Scriabin's house, but crawfish ball, boom. So resume, who you want to play for? You want to play for these other captains or you want to play for somebody that went undefeated in Bent League, the very first one? Look, talk about resumes all you want. Look, just took up tennis. Just took up tennis when I moved to Mandeville. Guess what? Six-round draft pick or better every year. Running only undefeated captain. Let's go. You pick. You pick who you want to play with. Play four. Draft grades. Everybody's making fun of, you know, always being, you know, rating my team higher than others. Well, that's fine because my team always finishes either first and second. I think I did the math last year. I did do the math last year. 83% of the time, the Prince of the Parish finishes in first or second place. Brad's going to talk about past championships. I played on his team when he was a captain. I was a key player in that. Don't listen to that. Just remember, if you're on my team, you're going to challenge for the championship. You should, if the wrong captain picks you, you should hold out. Almost like Eli Manning. San Diego? Hell Hell to the no. I want to play in a big city team like New York. Let's go. Eli Manning, hold out and say, you want to play for the Prince of the Parish. Boom. Mark Fair sent a great message out, all lines matter. I don't understand his scoring system. If all lines matter, why rate one line more than others? But what I'm going to tell you now is everybody on my team is a key to winning this title. 
What I'm saying is whether it's a two line, two point line, one point line, double match points on the sixth round, whatever Mark Fair comes up with, play every point, play every game like you, like, like the fucking Boston Celtics just won the championship. All right. You see what I'm saying? Every line. Okay. Captains. Quality, quality. They they pass champions. I cannot talk bad about them. Well, I can. Brad. Mesa. Wait until a wait until a serve. Uh, you can't catch your toss round, or you you got to hit the ball where Kevin the Squirrel. Love love that guy. But I mean, you pick who you want to play with. You don't. Just tell him. Say, I'd rather not play for you because I want to play for this guy. He's wearing a fucking Celtics jersey. An Ireland hat. 37% Irish. My last name ends in a vowel, so I'm 50-something percent Italian. There's a couple of extras mixed in there. Newcomers, welcome. Welcome to Bet League. I'm going to keep my eye on you. I've been trying to do some scouting reports. Been talking, talking here, talking there. But welcome to Bet League. And don't be taken aback by all the bullshit talk, smack talk, bullshit, fair, commission of fair, Bet League. Bet League. Just because he's got his name on the league. We invented it, not him. So just just go with the flow and don't be afraid of that last match. If I draft you, I expect you to rise up if the crowd is around. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, uh, there was a you know little comment about yeah we can we get we out there we're gonna have a good fun good time Lynn's Lynn's out there with us tip your bartenders appreciate the support pack gives us they'll probably Mr Tony they'll have to stay up stay out a little later than closing time so appreciate you the people that are helping us out that league. Bentley, the chairman of the league, I, I, you know, I think this is your year. You could be on my team and win it all, but it's not a guarantee. Okay, so just uh, keep your chairman in mind, pay him in cash, because he don't have Venmo. Cuckoo. All right. The pink vagina hat is on the block. For Bent League 10, Hal Nietzscheman, pass winner. He has a suit to match, so it, I hope he wears his suit to draft day. He's a quality player. I love him. He's a quality guy. But that last match of last Bent League and the final match, and you didn't let a sub out, an injured player, you might have heard rumors about it, but he won the pink hat, the vagina hat, uh, last last year for that ruling. And don't say nothing, Schwartz, because uh, I got you on my list. I got you on my list. Bottom line, who do you want to play for? This team is about fighting for every inch, Al Pacino. I'm making an offer you can't refuse. The the Godfather. Shoe. Wrestle. Fucking shoe. Freaking, uh, what was that fucking dude's name? I don't know what his name. Oh, wrestler. Every movie, it's time. Rocky, come on. So bottom line, who you want to play for? You want to play for Nick Saban? Salutatorian, Shaman High School, 1984. Well, you want to play for fucking Les Miles, Brad, the Cuban Missile Crisis, Mesa. 
Tell them who you want to play for. Don't draft me. Just tell them. Tell them. You want to be part of... You want to be part of this. You got to have... Look, we're going to play smart tennis. Tennis IQ. I'm watching... I've been watching. I've been taking notes. Look, I got my papers in front of me. Taking notes. I don't want dumb players. I want the cerebral players who are going to fight for every point, Al Pacino. You got to have that mentality. Bring it. Bring it. We're not giving anything up. There's no I in team. This is a team thing. Just watch the Michigan uh, documentary on the sign stealing. That dude would have gave his life for a Michigan win. That's what I want you to do for Kiss My Ace Part 2. Get, let's, let's go. Bring it every week. If you're in that number, bring it. And if you're not in the number, come cheer on the rest of the crowd because we have to win. I ain't giving Brad another title. Bullshit. Ah, I think that covers it. Let's go. Kiss my ace part two is going to take Bentley 10. I guarantee it.